everybody. Today, we're going to be vacuum forming a Glock 19 fold-over holster. It's going to be in flat dark or spring, and we're going to be using a flush mount clip. We're also going to be using on targets Master Series molds. So join along as we make this holster. All right, so the first thing we've done here is we've taken our two houses of our butterfly split, and we've put them onto the base plate. Now we're just going to measure across so that we can determine how much kydex we need in order to be able to vacuum form this. And then we're just going to cut out what we need. Now score the front of the kydex and then snap it. And repeat for the other side. Now what we're going to do, since we're using a flush, flush mount clip here, is we want to decide which side, in other words, it's going to be right hand or left hand carry uh, inside the waistband. And once we determine which side we want it on, we are going to simply take our jig, we're going to have to put it on there. Now in this case, you want to make sure that it sits flat, you don't want it to go at an angle, so all we did was shaved little piece of wood you can use just about anything that you need you just want like a shim in there so that when you put it on there it sits flush uh, what you don't want is to put it on there and have it be tilted and then we're going to set the angle that we want for our flush mount and let's go ahead and heat our kydex here Simply going to lay our kydex down on top of our mold and activate the vacuum press. Now when you're vacuum pressing you do kind of want to push and make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. It just makes for a better fit, better looking holster. and just allow it to cool. Today we're using a master series mold made by Multi Molds. Now these molds are unique in that it comes in a butterfly split and this butterfly split is magnetized so that not only can you use it as a split mold but you can also put it together and use it for book forming if you prefer or you can just use it for putting together so that after you vacuum form you can then fold your kydex around the prop. The other beauty of this Master Series mold is that it also has a base plate that's available. Now what the base plate allows you to do is establish a consistent distance between your two sides of your butterfly. This may be because you want a different height sight channel, maybe you're going to make this uh, for suppressor style heights or anything like that. So, or it also may just be personal preference as to how high you want that sight channel. So be sure and click here to go check out the Master Series molds today. All right, now we've released the vacuum. So we've got everything like we want. As you can see, the Kydex is cool to the touch. So now we're just gonna take it off. Tap our jig out. All right, 
Now we're going to mark our holes for where we're going to drill for our flush mount clip. And we're marking our holes for our eyelets. Now we're just knocking off some of the excess kydex that we know we don't need. In this case, if you don't have uh, a bandsaw, you can also, for the small amount that we're taking off, uh, you can just do this with your sander even. It'll still take that amount off pretty quick, but this does make it slightly quicker. Now we're simply going to remove our butterfly split from the base plate, and then we're going to assemble it together. And again, it'll hold together with the magnet. And make sure and put your dowel pins in there because that way everything is lined up perfectly. As you can see, this Master Series setup is a really good deal because normally what you would do is you'd have some type of split mold that you would vacuum form on, and then you would need a full mold uh, to be able to turn around and fold it in half on. We're simply using a flat iron here to heat the center. Again, we want to get it nice and soft. This just allows us to fold the holster over. This is a very inexpensive way to be able to do this. Uh, you can get a strip heater if you're a lot more uh, advanced, you're making a lot of holsters, but if you're doing this as a hobby, this is a pretty inexpensive way to get into this. Um, if your wife has a flattening iron, I personally recommend that you not use her flattening iron. I'd get your own. And you do need to work fairly quick here because as the kydex is out in the air like this, it's going to cool a good bit quicker. And then we're just clamping to allow it to cool. And no, the clamps will not uh, indent the kydex because we did not heat the part where the clamps are. We only heated the part that's going around the side chain. All right, now let's go over and get our holes drilled. And next, we will put our eyelets in.
and then we'll head over here to our grinder sander and we will take it down to the shape that we want. Anytime you're using power tools, make sure that you're wearing the proper personal protective gear, uh, hearing and eye protection. And work slowly. This looks like we're working really fast, but as you can see, we're really at two and a half speed here. So we're not working that fast. The idea is you wanna go slow so that you don't end up uh, taking away too much plastic and then you've wasted a sheet of plastic and you have to start over. And next, just take it over and polish it to your liking. When you're done polishing it, that's a good time to go and clean it. Uh, just a little bit of water. I guess you could use soapy water if you want to. Just make sure and clean it out and dry it out real good. Uh, fortunately, since this is open-ended, it'll be pretty easy to get everything out of there. Uh, you could even just blow it out with, uh, with compressed air. Now we're going to go ahead and put our flush mount clip on. For that, we're just using a post, some uh, two posts, some EPDM washers uh, and uh, finishing washers and screws. And when you know that everything's exactly like you like it, we do recommend that you take those screws out and put some Vibratite on them and put them back in so that they don't fall off in use. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please take the time to click like and also leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the video, let us know what you'd like to learn in the future, and we'll be happy to oblige. Also, we do have a previous Glock 19 holster making video that we did using our book forming press. You can just click the link here, it will take you directly to it. If you'd like to get everything that you need to make the holster that we showed you today, including the molding props and the vacuum forming equipment, Click the link here, it will take you directly to it. And again, I hope you've enjoyed this and please subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. That way you'll be notified of all our future videos. Thanks for stopping by.